Are you looking for an Xbox looking style controller to play on PC that overclocks? Look no further. This is the GameSir T4. The word behind it, I'm not going to pronounce. I'll put it on the screen right here for you guys to read. Um, this controller comes in at $45, I believe. And well, it's a pretty cool controller. It's got a lot of features on it. We're gonna hop right into it and start reviewing this thing right now. Question of the day, why do manufacturers still use potentiometers in their controllers versus Hall effect sensors in most Nintendo Switch controllers nowadays you can buy third party? Let me know in the comments below. I'm curious to see what your thoughts are on that. So we're gonna start from the front of the controller. The X, Y, B, A button are tactile buttons. Yes, they are tactile buttons, which means they do feel amazing they're great to use and well they're tactile no set the d-pad on here is a membrane d-pad it's raised a little bit up higher than some d-pads are it doesn't really bother me a whole lot but i figured i'd put that in there for you guys that are a lot of fighting games and stuff like that other front actuation buttons like your start and your your share and your m button for the bottom they're, they're kind of clicky, they don't feel weird, they feel okay, and they're raised just a little bit. There's not too much of a lip to them or anything. They look pretty good and they feel pretty good in my personal opinion. This controller is a wire controller and it can be used on Nintendo Switch, PC, and also Android and things like that. You just have to plug it up and you'll be good to go. This controller also has a 3.5 millimeter jack on the bottom of it. And yes, it will work for the Nintendo Switch when you go to ask in the comments below. Below. You just plug your headset up after you plug it up to your switch and you will get audio through your switch. Let's talk about the joysticks on here. The joysticks feel pretty good. They are, well, they're, they're Hall effects. These are pretty typical now on Nintendo Switch controllers, it seems like. And this is no difference. These have Hall effect sensors in it. They don't look like they don't really have any kind of uh, anti-friction ring. They feel pretty good moving around anyways. I mean, the kind of the material that the cover is made out of, it's really pretty much an anti-friction ring, if you ask me anyways. So I'm not mad that they didn't put extra anti-friction rings on here or anything like that. They feel good, they feel great, and they slide like butter. Let's talk about the bumpers and the triggers for a minute here. The bumpers, they feel good, they are good. They have a little bit of a gripple for you people that are not new to the channel and been here for a while. On the bottom of it, like the G7 had on the controller, the Xbox controller, it's just the same way too. It's right there at the bottom of it. They didn't put it on the top. I really wish they would have done that. That way you could, um, you know, have that feeling of scripple all the way around it, not just at the bottom of it when you're pressing it. Also with the triggers, it's the same way. You have the gripple that's right on the front of it, but doesn't wrap around to the side. The triggers feel pretty good. They're, they're super, you know, they got a little bit of friction behind them where you can feel when you pull it in, but they're not like, hard or anything like that. They don't have trigger stops on them. That's okay because you can turn the hair triggers on the app we'll talk about here in a few minutes. Also the bumpers, as again, just hitting those again, they feel a little clicky. They don't feel too cheap to me. They're not like super, you know, they're not tactile or anything like that, but they feel pretty good. Let's talk about the back buttons on here for real quick. They ergonomically feel great. They fit in the hand pretty well, as well as this controller. It has gripple around the controller where you hold it at, the base of it as well. And they feel very, very good. You get good use out of it there. No sweating and chinger, chinger? chicken finger pizza grease hands, you little kids. Uh, you don't have to worry about it sliding out of your hands because you got some gripple on the back of it to hold the controller down with. Again, this is a wire connection. It's a USB-C to type A cable it comes with. I'll put the size of the cable right here on the screen. There is just no point of doing an unboxing video because it came with these two items, a couple stickers and an instruction manual that I'm kind of telling you what's in it anyway. So you don't need to even show you that. So you do have rumble motors in here. There's only two of them in here. So there's not two underneath the triggers as you would have like your traditional Xbox controller. Ergonomically speaking, this controller is an Xbox controller pretty much. It's built just like an Xbox controller. It feels just like an Xbox controller because pretty much is an Xbox controller. All right, let's talk about the M button at the bottom of the controller real quick. To use this, what you're gonna do to activate your motors, motors to turn them up or down without having to go into the app, you can hold the button and press up on the D-pad. You can hear it going up and you can go down to turn them all the way down to where you have them off. 
So however you want to do that. To mess with the colors on the controller without going into the app, you would hold the M and then use the actual left um, joystick and press left or right. And you can cycle through the different things, the different uh, ones you have. And if you go up, it will make it brighter. And if you go down, it will, well, turn it off. So you have those as well. But real quick, I wanna show you how to use your your turbo function. So if you hold the button down here at the bottom of the controller and then hit any button, it's gonna activate it. You have three modes for it. The first one is low. So you can see how I'm holding X in and it's just slowly pressing on the screen. If I do that again and hit it, it's gonna to go to medium and then you will get a more of a rapid one. And again, guess what? If you hit it third time, it's gonna be super rapid. Now you can do this for any of the buttons that you want to. You can do it as many buttons as you want to. That way, you know, you know, you wanna do it with triggers and stuff like that for FPS games. Don't do that, but you can technically. Now, if you're used to an Xbox controller like I am, if you hold the A button and M button for three seconds, this will flash a few times. So I'll show you right now. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000. You see how it's flashed? These buttons have been interchanged, so now you're actually how it's supposed to be if you're normal Xbox controller on Nintendo Switch or whatever, and then you can hold it again to switch them back. So the Y and the X switch and the X, A and the B switches. All right, guys, if you wanna set the back buttons without going into the app, you can do that as well. So what you will do is you'll hold the M button and the back button at the same time, and what will happen is that side of the controller will light up, and then you just hit the button you want to associate with and then hit it, the back button again, and then you are set to go there. And just to show you, it is connected to the A button. Now from here, what you wanna do is come over to the app. Well, actually you're gonna come online. And as you can see here, the Game Sir G7 SE, this is gonna be for the Xbox. It's gonna be coming out and I will be doing a review on it. It's gonna have Hall Effect sensors in it. Yes, that's right, you heard me right, Hall Effect freaking sensors and an Xbox controller. I'm super excited. Anyways, we're not here for that today. Come over to the software and you're gonna download the GameSir T4 app. Once you download that app, you are going to open that app. Now go ahead and check for an update. If you haven't, and the reason being, is once you are up to date, you should be at 1.3.3 at the time of this recording, could be higher. You're gonna come to profiles. Once you come to profiles, you're gonna see right here, you have three different profiles you can set up. But what we're what we're gonna look at real quick is the report rate. You can have this at 250, 500, or 1,000, which means you have under a millisecond of latency with this controller. Uh, you could do the test and set it up in the software that you would normally do for you people that know how to do that. If you don't know how to overclock a controller on the PC and you want me to teach you let me know in the comments below i will teach you how to do that now this most like again most controllers are not overclockable that are xbox style looking controllers this is the very first one that is literally overclockable like 100 percent under a millisecond all right real quick i'm just going to show you the overclock i have everything set up on the controller already and as you can see for people that do look at this and do this all the time you can see that i am at a 0.98 my max is eight, that's me just barely touching it with my finger doing it. So it's actually a little bit lower than that. And your pulling rate is a over a thousand. Anyways, you can use the app right here. You come in here, you can set up all your buttons, back buttons and all that good stuff. You can set up sticks, um, you know, you can have it, you know, I have it all the way up, triggers. I have like this for FPS games. That way I can literally barely touch it and I get full pull. That's what we want for FPS games. I got hair triggers on because why not? Here's your vibrations. You can mess with your lights and you do have motion sensor on this controller for Nintendo Switch and the games and consoles or whatever that allow you to do that. You can use it on Switch for sure. So let me know in the comments below if you think this is worth the $45, $40 that the price tag is on this thing. Make sure you check out the description below. I'll link this controller down there and also be on the lookout for the new review coming out the G7 SE with the Hall Effect sensors in it for the Xbox. It's gonna be an awesome video. Can't wait to get that controller in my hands. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace and love.